What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. So, I was just doing some thoughts. So, yesterday we had a marketing phone call for the Philadelphia area. And it's no, it's no secret that the whole entire world, uh, the banking industry, the credit card industry, the housing industry, just basically everything is very unsettled. The consumer confidence is at an all-time low again. Um, people aren't spending. Uh, Starbucks is, you know, saying that their traffic's down. Tesla's laying off people. The Landis is laying off people. And it's no different for us here in Meineke land that, you know, we have to keep our eye on the ball and say, hey, what's going on? What can we do? Uh, and how do we, you know, try and keep the train on the track? So we had a phone call yesterday with our marketing group and we talked about, you know, what we should do and then we discussed, you know, driving oil changes, but we don't want to drive the uh, bottom of the barrel oil change price because everybody in our business knows what type of traffic that brings. <clears throat> some people are interested in all that kind of traffic. Uh, I, for one, am not. Um, I'm interested in some type of uh, oil change traffic, I'm not trying to cre create a take five or a quick lube or oil change place like Jiffy Lube or Valvoline. We're just, we're just not that shop. I mean, if you probably added up all the experience in five Jiffy Lubes, um, I probably still have more experience than five staff Jiffy Lubes. Um, so we're going to take some corrective actions here in the Philadelphia market. We're going to try and drive uh, some oil change traffic because that's the right thing to do is try and get people to the door and, and you know, maybe introduce uh, them to a new service provider that maybe they were unhappy with or tired of paying triple the price at a quick loop, right? So this, this video is about oil change and oil change pricings. Is it worth going to a quick loop and paying almost three times more than it is than it than it than it is at your local guy? So say I'm your local guy and a full, full synthetic oil change, non non top of the line name brand, right? Not Mobile One or Castrol Syntec or whatever the case may be, right? Just a regular off the shelf full synthetic oil, five quarts of oil, spin all filter is sixty dollars in my location. And I would say it's probably the same, if not maybe a little bit more, at your regular mom and pop shop. I consider myself a mom and pop shop, even though I have a big box name. I don't run it like a big box. So for the same oil change, if you go to a quick loop, so we'll just say uh, Jiffy Lube or Valvoline or a Take Five or something like that, you're going to pay ninety to one hundred and twenty dollars for that same service. So. Is it really worth the convenience for you to drive in there, have somebody who really doesn't know what they're doing other than basically oil changes and you're lucky if they get it right the first time? Um, or is it just better for you just to wait to see your regular guy, save some money, and right here's the important part. Say your regular guy is 50 or $60 for the same oil change that you went to a quick loop to last time. They stroked off their check sheet and said your car was good even though it's not good. Um, and then you're just driving around smiling thinking, hey, well, I was just at a service place and they didn't tell me there was anything wrong. So in your mind, you think that everything's okay. And then you're going to find out your brake fluid's low, your coolant bottle's low, your brakes are low, your suspension's got issues because you, you're, you know, you're not a mechanic, so you don't know. Your belt's frayed or you got bulbs out, whatever the case may be. Isn't it worth you waiting that extra few, you know, a day or whatever the case may be is to see your trusted mechanic to make sure your car's in is in good in good condition and ready for the road and safe for you and not going to leave you stranded. Um, but the point is, at two to double or triple the cost for that convenience factor. And what your what are the features and benefits of a quick loop? The, the only feature, in my opinion, is that uh, it's it's a notable place where you can conveniently go in, right? So the benefit is, is that you don't need to make an appointment in most cases to get a spill and fill. And hope that they fill your engine back up and your engine doesn't seize as you go down the street. Yeah. Right? But then look at the cost factor. Say, say it's $90 or $120. Your regular guy is $60. And say you need an air filter. Well, that's, that $30 or $40 is help covering another needed repair on your car, right? Think of it. You're getting more value at your, your regular guy than you are at a quick loop. You know, paying for convenience. Like the whole world is paying for convenience for all these Uber Eats and all that shit. It is making you broke, people. 
And I think we're gonna we see a shift in the world here where people are looking for uh, service value and trust and more value with coupons and online deals and things like that. So the price is is it the thing is is it really worth hitting a quick loop for double or triple the price? You're not getting the same quality service that you're getting at your local mom and pop shop, your regular guy or your guy that's already fifty or sixty dollars for the same service, although you have to drop it off or uh, leave it for the day because he's busy actually making repairs to other people's cars that trust him to keep his car on the road. You follow me? Yeah. So is it really worth the double and triple? In the long run, it's not. The money that you're wasting in those quick loop environments can take your car, take your car's maintenance and costs and reduce them. So I'm gonna say it again. If it's a 90 or 120, yeah, you can back it out. She's here. 90 or 120 dollar oil change at your quick loop. Your mom and pop shop is 50 or 60 there's 50 or 60 dollars that could go towards a tire plug a headlight bulb a cabin air filter a throttle body fuel injection so you're not getting value there you're, you're paying top tier prices if not more for convenience and you're not getting the skill that you're getting from your regular guy you know who may even have 50 or 60 years experience you've been going to him forever but it's just not convenient for you to call him and say, hey, I, I need an oil change. Can you get me? And he said, hey, listen, Mr. So-and-so, I can't even finish the work I have today. Can you drop it off tomorrow morning or you know, leave it with me for today and I promise I'll take care of it. And I'll, I'll look your car over and make sure that you're ready to go. Right? I don't know. You tell me. Thanks for watching.